Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre market morning update where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. And a big thank you to Richard for covering my morning videos the last few days while I was out of town. Now it is the last day of June and the last day to take advantage of the tip rank sale where you can get 30% off premium subscriptions. If you've been considering unlocking some great research tools, now is the time to do so. So head on over to tipranks.com or follow the link below. Now you guys know the routine this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. So let's jump right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the red this morning. Currently, Dow futures are down 1.16%, S&P 500 futures down 1.36%, and NASDAQ futures down 1.57%. Also in the red this morning is Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency is now down around $19,000. Bitcoin is down about 5% today, but is down 60% year to date. This recent decline in Bitcoin comes as the SEC declined Grayscale's application to convert their $13 billion Bitcoin trust into an ETF. Investors were hopeful for a vehicle that actually owns digital tokens as opposed to derivative contracts tracking their price. The denial is a massive blow to the crypto world. The SEC is citing outstanding concerns including market manipulation and fraud in crypto. But Grayscale is not giving up yet. The company stated that they are deeply disappointed by the decision and do not agree with it. As such, the decision will be battled out in court as Grayscale has launched a lawsuit against the SEC. Spirit Airlines was supposed to have a shareholder meeting today to vote on the Frontier merger, but has once again postponed. The shareholder meeting has now been rescheduled to July 8th. They said that the decision would allow Spirit's board to continue discussions with both Frontier and JetBlue Airways, who have both made offers on the company. Analysts currently rate the Spirit Airlines stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 18%. Shares of RH are falling after the company cut future revenue guidance. They now expect fiscal year revenue to decline as much as 5% as demand slows because of surging mortgage rates. Their CEO said that the deteriorating macroeconomic environment has resulted in lower than expected demand since our prior forecasts, and we're updating our outlook particularly for the second half of the year. He added that demand is expected to slow throughout the rest of the year as the Federal Reserve aggressively raises interest rates, boosting mortgage borrowing costs. Analysts currently rate the RH stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 73%. And a member of the Federal Communications Commission, Brendan Carr, has asked tech giants Apple and Google to remove TikTok from their platforms. Carr said that it is clear that TikTok poses an unacceptable national security risk due to its extensive data harvesting being combined with Beijing's apparently unchecked access to that sensitive data. Apple and Google did not yet respond to the comments, but TikTok did, saying that TikTok has consistently maintained that our engineers in locations outside of the U.S., including China, can be granted access to U.S. user data on an as-needed basis under those strict controls. The Google stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 39%, while the Apple stock is also rated a strong buy with an average upside of about 33%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we're still waiting to hear from Constellation Brands, and in the after hours, we'll be hearing from Micron and Accolade. Already in the pre-market this morning, we heard from Walgreens Boots Alliance. They came out with results ahead of analyst expectations as online sales increased. They reported earnings per share of $0.96 cents ahead of the $0.92 cents expected and revenue of $32.6 billion versus $32.06 billion expected. Walgreens has worked to expand their online options, such as curbside pickup and delivery, and said that those digital options gained popularity in the quarter, growing 25% year-over-year. Analysts currently rate the Walgreens stock a hold with an average upside of 16%. We also heard from Acuity Brands, who came in well ahead of analysts' expectations and saw solid year-over-year -year revenue growth. 
Acuity Brands posted earnings of $3.52 per share, 60 cents ahead of the analyst estimates of $2.92. This was on revenue of $1.1 billion, well ahead of the estimates of $979.7 million, and revenue grew nearly 18% year-over-year. Analysts currently rate the stock a moderate buy, with an average upside of 31%. And one more company coming in ahead of analyst expectations was Simply Good Foods. They reported earnings of $0.44 cents per share on revenue of $316.5 billion. This was ahead of the estimates of $0.35 cents per share and revenue of $293.5 million. Their revenue grew over 11% year-over-year. The stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 10%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Symbotic. Last week, Walmart disclosed a stake in the AI company, though I wasn't able to find any distinct news behind this morning's jump. Under the ticker SYM, the stock is currently up over 16%. They're followed by Miller Knoll under MLKN up 5.3% and Boyce Cascade under BCC up about 5%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Cytokinetics after they announced they'd be offering $450 million in convertible senior notes. Trading under the ticker CYTK, the stock is down nearly 16%. They're closely followed by Duck Creek Technologies under DCD down 15.8% and RH under the ticker RH down 9.6%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. I know many of you are headed into a long weekend for the 4th of July, so just a reminder that the market is closed on Monday. Stay safe this weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.